Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we shall discuss on ECU reset that is uh, UDS service 11. ECU reset is used to reset the ECU in case of malfunction or uh, a not working condition or uh, hanged state, ECU hanged state. Uh, and also it should be able to communicate with the external diagnostic system. So in such cases we go for ECU reset. And during this time ECU does not accept any uh, request message or send any response message. So um, whenever we request uh, you know service 11 uh, from the tester uh, ECU uh, processes it and responds back and after reset ECU will uh, go back to the default session. This is one thing that it goes back to the default session from any uh, other non default session. So usually ECU reset uh, will be performed in uh, external diagnostic session external diagnostic session. So after reset it goes back to the default session. Okay. So uh, the sub functions that is present in uh, uh, ECU reset that is service 11 is uh, these are the reset modes that is uh, hard reset uh, that is 0 1 sub function id 0 1 and uh, key off on reset uh, that is 0 2 sub function id 0 2 soft reset uh, 0 3 enable rapid power shutdown 0 4 disable rapid uh, power shutdown uh, 0 5. So the request format would be uh, 11 uh, followed by the sub function id that is a service id followed by the sub function id 1101 1102 etc so whenever uh, we uh, we send this request we will uh, have either positive response or the negative response as per uds so if it is a positive response as you can see here plus 40 gets added and uh, it will be 11 plus 40 uh, uh, 51 uh, and uh, followed by the reset mode that is uh, the sub function id that is 0, 1, 0, 2, whichever uh, you know reset uh, we request and uh, if it is a negative response if it is a negative response then it will be a uh, so the format will be something like this 7f uh, that is a negative uh, response id followed by the response service id uh, that is 11 uh, followed by the nrc negative response code um, the supported nrc is like uh, 12 13 22 conditions not correct, 33 uh, um, security access denied, 12 is for uh, I think uh, uh, no, uh, sub function not supported, 13 is incorrect length or inc uh, invalid format. So uh, we get uh, uh, these NRCs whenever we have the negative response. Okay, uh, now talking about the first reset that is a hard reset. So hard reset is equivalent to removal of a battery or a power source and connecting it back again. So uh, it is something uh, you know uh, similar to that. So uh, uh, during this uh, there will be a reinitialization of both the volatile as well as non-volatile memory, volatile as well as non-volatile memory, and also uh, there will be a, a reinitialization of uh, electronic subcomponents which are connected uh, directly to the ECU and its peripherals and its peripherals. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, the request format, uh, as you can see here, uh, it will be a 0 to that is the PCI uh, protocol uh, control information length PCI length and uh, 11 that is a service ID 0 1 that is a hard reset uh, sub function ID. So we uh, we will have a if it is a positive response then it will have, then we will have zero two that is a PCI followed by fifty one as per UDS uh, to the service ID eleven forty gets added so fifty one followed by the sub function ID that is uh, the mode that is requested zero one. So similarly if ever we have a negative response then it will be uh, yeah zero three that is a PCI length seven F negative response ID followed by eleven that is a service ID followed by any of the you know NRCs either it can be either twelve uh, if if it is a function not supported then it will be thirteen if it is incorrect uh, incorrect uh, length or invalid format twenty two conditions not correct or it can be thirty three uh, you know security access denied so something like this uh yeah then going to the other uh, sub function that is key uh, off on reset um so uh, key off on reset is equivalent to ignition off on process ignition off on process in the ecu so uh, uh, whenever we do a ignition off then uh, immediately ecu's power down will not happen uh, immediately the power down would not happen so it will first store all the data um, into the non volatile memory of the processor and uh, then de uh, initializes all the programs and uh, then it will go into the power down mode without losing any data. So we can say that it is a proper reset. 
then we can say that it is a proper reset so uh, and whenever we uh, again turn on the ignition it will follow the same reverse process and run the application again so uh, uh, one point to note uh, here is that only uh, volatile memory will be reinitialized only volatile memory will be reinitialized and uh, the nvm location will be preserved that is a uh, uh, nvm location uh, will be preserved but in the hard reset both the volatile as well as non volatile will be reinitialized here only the volatile memory will be uh, reinitialized and nvm uh, location will be preserved and uh, yeah the request format would be uh, 0 to pci followed by the service id followed by the sub function id 0 to and uh, the, uh, the if it is a positive response then uh, as usual plus 40 gets added so 0 to uh, 51 followed by 0 to that is a, a key off on reset request uh, yes then uh, similarly we have uh, if ever we have a negative response then it will be uh, 0 3 that is a pci length 7f negative response id uh, 11 uh, the uh, sorry uh, yeah that is uh, uh, the uh, service id followed by the negative response code uh, that is uh, 12 uh, 13 or uh, 22 or uh, 33 similarly uh, yeah sorry th this was the one key off on the reset then uh, the soft reset um, the soft reset is uh, uh, equivalent to the restart of uh, uh, our uh, main application program uh, which means that uh, the stack pointer of our microcontroller will point to the address of the main function so which is uh, same as uh, watchdog uh, uh, timer reset so soft reset uh, 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 so in the soft reset application uh, will get restarted uh, immediately and uh, this is one of the very common reset functionality which is normally used to restart the ecu so the request format would be z uh, you know uh, 11 uh, followed by 03 and the response would be uh, 51 uh, followed by 03 if ever it is a negative response as usual 7f uh, followed by 11 followed by the nrc negative response code okay the next uh, reset mo uh, would be uh, enable rapid power uh, uh, shutdown that is 1104 so uh, uh, this uh, enable rapid power shutdown is equivalent to uh, you know uh, powering uh, you know the ECU without uh, ignition supply uh, or uh, like only the battery supply only the battery supply then we uh, say uh, uh, like which is equivalent to enable uh, rapid power shutdown so in this uh, uh, phase ECU will go into the sleep mode so here the ECU will be in the sleep mode which means that uh, 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 it will it is kind of a power off but uh, it it will be uh, ready for a wake up uh, wake up always it will be uh, always ready for a wake up and uh, one point is that it is only uh, battery powered it is only battery powered and after the ignition off it will go directly into the uh, sleep mode it will directly go into the sleep mode and wait for uh, wake up uh, uh, wake up conditions yeah wait for wake up conditions so um, the request would be uh, 11 uh, 0 2 the pci length uh, uh, the service id 11 followed by the sub function id 04 the if it is a positive response then it will be uh, it should be 0 3 actually because uh, uh, 51 that is a positive response 11 plus 40 50, 51 followed by the sub function id 04 followed by something we have something called standby time that is uh, yy so uh, uh, like after how much time uh, we uh, we will get the uh, you know response that information that timing information will be mentioned here uh, one thing uh, it should be uh, 0 3 uh, depending on the time here and uh, if it is a negative response as usual 7f followed by 11 followed by the nrc negative response code so this is regarding the enable uh, uh, power shutdown uh, rapid power shutdown uh, disable uh, rapid power shutdown 1105 so this service uh, uh, request uh, uh, request the you know server to disable the previously enabled uh, uh, you know rapid power shutdown function so yeah as simple as that so the request would be 1105 and if it is a positive response that is 0 to 51 followed by 05 and if it is a negative response 7f followed by 11 followed by the nrc codes and uh, talking about the different uh, nrcs that is supported in the uh, supported by this uh, uh, um, ecu reset 11 uh, service is that uh, one is 12 that is a function not supported the other is 13 uh, incorrect message length or invalid format other is 22 that is conditions not correct and also we have something called 33 security access denied so this was all about uh, uh, ecu reset that is 11 service 
so thanks for watching the video uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up yeah thank you